if you haven't seen me well i'm here <laughs> today is the 8th of august 2023 08 it's a significant date i'll tell you during headlines okay but for now we're going to have a conversation on breastfeeding positions and attachments for the past two weeks or so we've been having our favorite midwife come here to educate us about breastfeeding she is the vice chairperson of the ghana registered midwives association greater Accra region and senior midwifery officer at the tema health center ruby naago and satego ruby good morning good morning you brought our babies yes what are their names again calf and valerie calf and valerie wow <laughs> who's our mama you you are our mama i think so <laughs> <laughs> so this is calf hey calf what's up man mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're talking about breastfeeding yeah yes yeah what do we need to know today about positions and attachments okay so positions are um how comfortable the baby is mm -hmm. to actually circle the breast okay. and the attachment is how best baby is able to hold the areola and circle them okay let's so let's educate those mm -hmm. it's called latching okay latching okay okay, okay. let's so, educate those who don't know what the areola is okay so this is areola uh -huh. the, the wider side yes okay. this is the areola mm -hmm. i hope my the cameraman can capture so this yeah. is the areola yeah okay and this is the nipple okay so there's a difference between this one okay and that one yeah so areola uh -huh. and the nipple. nipple it normally has some 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 bumps yes why don't you put the bumps on this one can you imagine that's why it's not natural <laughs> That's why it's not natural. <laughs> That's why it's artificial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter yeah. how much you try to create, uh, no, no, you can no, no, never no. have real, it like the original. The real thing, the yeah, real thing is the yeah, real thing. Yeah. So these are areola. Areola. And that's our nipple. How, why is the areola important for breastfeeding? Okay, so that is the milk production site. Okay. So if baby is able to latch on it properly, mm -hmm. more milk is being produced so that baby can have enough. Okay. So we have 95% of water. Mm -hmm. Then the five percent has the protein, the carbohydrate, the minerals, the vitamins, the fibers, and everything. So the areola is actually the breast milk factory. Yes, that's the producing site, ah. and that's where it's being stored. Okay, warehouse. Yes. Mm -hmm. So immediately, baby is able to do this. A lot comes out, mm. but if it's here, it's only air. Oh. That's why you'll be hearing that sound when baby is fixated to the yes uh, uh, nipple, the nipple you hear sounds mm. but when baby is fixed proper attached to the areola there's no sound and the lips Nobody's, have been created to to yeah. fix around the areola yes yeah god and is great the, the 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 more baby is attached to the nipple mm -hmm. the more baby circles okay. the more milk is being produced okay so if it's only at the nipple you realize the breast will become engorged mm. it will be bigger the milk will be storing in it rather it's not coming out yeah. and that process is also very painful yeah very painful in, in large breasts yes engorged okay. breast mm -hmm. and it's so painful mm. so that's why we say if you know you breastfeed mm -hmm. the baby there's one th uh, secret the more you breastfeed and the more the breast becomes lighter the more nutritious the breast becomes oh, okay so the aftermath mm -hmm. of the heavier flow that you see the one which will come is thicker Mm. than the first, the first one. one yes so the latter part rather that's where all the goodies are so we make sure we empty the breast totally before we fix the baby okay. to the other one all right so that's that's the, the position so so not so, so that was attachment right yes okay. so this is a, so this is my baby mm -hmm. this is how i position my baby mm -hmm. if this is cradle hold this cradle hold mm. the normal one that we see is called cradle hold okay so this is how I position. Then I make sure I hold on to the breast with four of my fingers okay. under the breast. Right. And the thumb is on it. Okay. Then I fix baby to the breast. And mm -hmm. baby needs to pick it. So when baby is picking, you see the lower chin, the lip. It picks it from the down before the up. Mm. Proper attachment. It starts from down, down to you, up. You don't just fix it like this. Mm. No. So okay. from okay. down to up okay. so you see the mouth is wide open it picks him from down before the up okay so i i hope they can show some photos uh, okay. for us to so see 
um, proper latching or proper attachment to the breast. Okay, all right. So yeah. you, 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 this is the cradle hold that you, yes, you have right now. Yes, this is cradle hold. Okay, and then you, you put it down and then yes. raise up. Yes, so cradle hold, the back of baby's neck is in the calf of your arm. Mm. Okay, sorry. So let me way. come closer to you. Yes. Then I'll demonstrate yeah, so yeah, that yeah. viewers can see. Why not? Let me close my things. You can yeah. see what's going on. Yeah. You can so, take my chair. Definitely. Take my chair. Take I'm, my chair. I'm actually using you as my mother. Okay. Do you mind? I don't mind. Okay. Thank I don't you. mind. So okay. this is baby's head. Mm -hmm. That's the neck. Mm -hmm. So the neck is supposed to be fixed here. Mm -hmm. Then this hand mm -hmm. is supposed to be under baby's butt. All right. This way. Okay. Then the uh, forehead to forehead. Mm -hmm. Eyeball to eyeball, oh. chin to chin. It's all positions. Right? Yes. Okay. So, all concentration is on the baby, mm -hmm. not you, not the person passing by. Mm -hmm. So that is cradle hold. So, forehead to forehead, mm -hmm. chin to chin, mm -hmm. then eyeball to eyeball. Mm -hmm. That's how we position our baby for cradle hold. Okay. Yeah. Then you hold on four mm -hmm. fingers under the breast. I don't have no breasts. Yeah, I know. I, get no breasts. I know. <laughs> so this one. Bring here to come <laughs> <and do> this. <laughs> so this the four, <laughs> then the thumb. So this way. So we're gonna do this. I'm happy you have this one there. Mm -hmm. So this one, mm -hmm. then this one. Mm -hmm. Those days they do this. Mm -hmm. Scissors. Mm -hmm. Scissors hold. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's no more. So it's four. Four. So when baby suckles for a very long time mm -hmm. and gets tired, mm -hmm. this one comes to rub the chin of the baby. I see. So that baby can continue to breastfeed. Sit down, do it. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> no, sit here, sit here. Okay. Yeah. okay. The camera is here. Sit here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much. You are the host of my show now. Yeah. Yes. So, this way. Mm -hmm. Then I have four. Mm -hmm. Then this way. Mm -hmm. Then immediately baby gets tired. I try to. This way. You rub the chin gently. Gently. Oh, okay. Gently. Gently, then you realize baby will continue to suckle. Okay. Baby will suckle till <laughs> till the king don't come. Till. Because <laughs> right now you are giving him or her a relief. And a small cheeks massage yes, also. You yes. know? <laughs> so there is no more tiredness. Mm -hmm. All I need to do is just continue eating and eating and eating and eating. Start the process again. Okay. So this is my arm. Yes. Baby's neck is on the calf. Mm -hmm. Then this on baby's butt. Yes. So the tummy will definitely touch my tummy. Exactly. Tummy to tummy. Yes. Then forehead to forehead, mm -hmm. chin to chin, then eyeball to eye. Then I hold on to my baby mm -hmm. this way with four of my fingers mm -hmm. under my breast, then the thumb on it. Val is hungry. She's opening her mouth. <laughs> when baby <laughs> circles and you see baby has paused, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean baby is satisfied. No. Baby is tired because it's a form of exercise. For oh. the baby, oh, really? suckling, yes, a form of exercise. What are they exercising? The jaw. Okay. The jaw. So jaw you exercise. rub and rub and rub. Immediately you start rubbing, you see that baby will start to suckle. All the mothers in this house will tell you that. Mm. That's a secret. Second gear, third gear. <laughs> yes, third gear. Yes, Gone, yes, yes, All right. yes, yes. Oh, wow. So aside the cradle hold, mm -hmm. we also have cross cradle hold. That one. If this is my baby, mm -hmm. just like the one we're holding on to the baby. Mm -hmm. But this one is with a full flight. Okay. This way. All right. Yes. So the baby is closer. Okay. Closer than usual than you breastfeed. Mm -hmm. Then we have the football hold. Okay. That one. You're holding the baby like a football. Yeah. Okay. So baby is in your armpit mm -hmm. this way. This one, when you go to the market, you see most of them ah, doing that because yeah. they are selling at the same time breastfeeding. Okay. So they don't want people to actually see what they are doing. Exactly. So babies are the armpit. Okay. Then they position the baby this way. Still with the four mm -hmm. fingers four. under. And so one. when baby is tired, you you still go this way. Massage. Yes. Another cheek. Yes. This is a football hold. Yes. This okay. Is a and this one can also be used for twins. Mm. Yes, it can be used for things. So you have the other baby here. Mm -hmm. This way. Ah. So this way. So this one, you need a pillow. Yeah, definitely. Because you know both arms are busy. Exactly. So you need a pillow. Mm -hmm. First you position one baby. Then you position. So you need somebody to help you to position them and attach them properly. Then there should be a pillow under you. Then you hold on to your pulse. 
they are cycling, you are just observing them. That's all. And singing. Yeah. Observing give, give me a song. Give me a song. What are the kind of songs that you, you, you were you singing when your babies were born? Okay, so no funcio aye my no funcio aye my yen aye my mofra SSA ye de ma won no funcio aye my no funcio ma odo bambo no funcio aye my yen SSA ye de ma won Essa ye de ma wonje no funcio ye ma ye So you know no funcio is for the babies not yes. for the men <laughs> Yeah it's not for the, the men No no no, no, no. I was just singing to yes. I was just singing to accompany you that's one give you some good harmony Thank you But we know it's for the babies Thank you thank you thank you thank you Another song Then we have another one mm -hmm. So that is line on the side okay that one we don't have a bed here mm -hmm. but i am um, there are some photos which will be shown on the screen okay. so, if you're so lying. that yeah you can lie on your side mm -hmm. then you position the baby closer to you mm -hmm. so the baby will still lie on your hand yeah as an elevator okay then you can actually breastfeed okay. your baby then we have the sitting up straight okay. so you can sit in a chair in a chair or even on your bed supporting okay. yourself yes. with a pillow yes then you bring the baby closer mm -hmm. normally those ones are also good for preterm babies uh, pr premature ones yes okay why because one the baby is so comfortable too it keeps the baby warm mm -hmm. gives the baby warmth then also you are able to observe mm -hmm. the amount of feed your baby is sucking okay. if it's too much if it's okay if it's too small also so baby is gaining weight. Baby is closer to you mm -hmm. because of the kangaroo mother care mm -hmm. that we fix them in. We have a way of tying them closer yes. to the mother. Yeah. So when baby is suckling, mm -hmm. you know that baby is able to suckle properly. Baby is able to swallow properly because baby needs to have all those uh, cognitive abilities. Baby needs to suckle. Mm -hmm. Baby needs to hold, mm -hmm. so attach or latch onto the breast. Baby needs to feel the warmth of the mother so that baby wouldn't lose temperature okay so we call it hypothermia mm -hmm. so it's even good for preterm babies more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then I'll, I'll 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 show you my flip chart okay i'd like to go back to the flip are, chart. are you leaving violent calf here yeah okay. for you right. so <laughs> you can see from the flip chart immediately the mother gets pregnant mm -hmm. and she delivers mm -hmm. you know yeah. this pregnancy mm -hmm. she delivers mm -hmm. the first thing we do is to put the baby to breast. She's still in the labor mm -hmm, world. Mm -hmm. If we can see, she's yeah, still she's in the still labor world. Mm -hmm. So we put baby to breast. Immediately, baby delivers. Mm -hmm. Then from here, we said breast milk only for the first six months. Okay. So you could see from the first photo, the mother is breastfeeding. Somebody is trying to bring something to the mother. It's a no-no. No, I no don't water, need nothing. It. The water nothing. is in the breast milk. Yes. 95% mm. of the breast milk it's is water. Now. Is water. Then the line by the side of your baby. Yeah, so you at night, yeah. you can still breastfeed ah. your baby. Irrespective the time, mm -hmm. the season, mm -hmm. no matter how tired you are, mm -hmm. for the first six months, it's we encourage that you breastfeed your baby. How will you, the mother, know that the baby has had enough to, 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 to drink and eat? Okay. So, one, by the time you finish feeding, mm -hmm. we are expecting baby, you, you rub the back, for baby to belch okay so when baby is able to belch you fix baby to the next breast because baby has finished eating the first one baby will definitely will not take okay or they'll even fall asleep nobody needs to tell you, you even see you if see. baby is sleeping this is, this is that should tell you i'm full yeah yes nobody so, feeds a baby who is no, asleep no 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 nobody unless baby is awake and last time i was here i told um you know when they breastfeed they keep some in their chin mm -hmm. Indirectly, they are ruminants at that okay, okay. early stage. Right. They keep some. No matter how full they are, mm. they always keep some mm -hmm. in their chin. Mm -hmm. So that even when they sleep, they still will suckle the rest in their mouth. To actually fill their tummy, the wee wee that has passed, yeah, the small yeah, yeah. poo poo we'll that has passed. We'll replace so that it. Ba yes. Baby can sleep for a while. Mm -hmm. Immediately the hunger starts. Nobody needs to tell baby to wake up. Mm -hmm. The cry starts. One time. Yes. And baby wakes up. Awesome. Yes. Great. Then also more more diagrams yeah, to show us. Yes, more diagrams. Okay. So when you look at this chart, you see 
during the day, uh -huh. in the morning, mm -hmm. you are supposed to empty both breasts mm -hmm. four times. Mm. Left, in, right, left, right. In the morning. Okay. In the afternoon, four times. At night, four times. So when you start from, let me say, 5 a.m., before 12 a.m., you should finish 12 cycle. Both breasts is one. It's a whole job, you know? Yes. Wow. It's a whole job. That's why every mother needs that ample time mm. to do this job. Yeah. So before 12 a.m., the baby is supposed to finish this activity. Left, right, left, right, left, right, so left, right. you can imagine the woman alone with this baby, mm. with this activity. And she's been given only three months yeah. we to need do this activity. That's why we are begging all stakeholders yes. to try and pass the bill mm -hmm. for that six months for every woman in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So that when you deliver, you have that enough rest. Because without much rest, you can't have enough breast because psychologically you need to be prepared, physically you yeah. need to be prepared before you can actually achieve that goal of doing that exclusive breastfeeding. Fine, we need to express. We can leave the expressed breast milk mm -hmm. to our caregivers or caretakers. Mm -hmm. Some, you can carry your child to your workplace. Mm -hmm. It's only few facilities yeah, few. that have that room that they can actually uh, uh, allow the mother to come with the baby to the workplace. Mm -hmm. Then you can go in between and breastfeed mm -hmm. your child. Some uh, facilities don't have. So if majority are not having, it's just minority. You can just for here I can I only know of uh, University of Ghana Business School. Mm -hmm. For now, that's what I know. Mm. I had opportunity to go. There. I took. I even took a video. I brought it. I hope they will show their place. So the nursing mothers can come down yes, and breastfeed. Yes, I hope they can show for you. To oh, wow. that so you can come with your baby. Mm -hmm. Plus, if you have a, 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 a nanny to yes. assist you, okay. then at the end of the day, the nanny will be there with the baby. Mm -hmm. There are toys there. So you go there periodically to check. You breastfeed your baby. You come back and work. But you ask yourself, how many? How many? So the six months gives us that ample time exactly. to actually... Um, breastfeed our baby. And from WHO, they said maternity leave. Every woman needs to be paid mm -hmm. when you go on that maternity leave. Other countries are doing their six months. Even others are doing one year. Really? Yes. Do you have any examples? Canada. They do Canada, a one year? One year. So what they do is when you go for the six months, they'll, you'll be paid fully for your six months. Mm -hmm. Then additional six months I know that they'll give you three months, they'll pay you fully. The other three months, they'll divide your salary into half. Even UK is even doing equivalent. It's a good support. So it's a very good support. Mm. So it even encourages that. Now, we don't need those artificial feats anymore. Mm -hmm. Everything that the child needs for the first six months is from the mother. It's not from anybody. It's from the mother. And the mother has to be of good sound mind and body so that she can achieve that goal. And when you breastfeed your baby, the IQ level of the child, research has shown any child who is breastfeed exclusively mm -hmm. first six months is one of the best in the class. If it's not the best, it's one of the best. Because one, cognitive ability is developed. Baby is able to suckle. Mm -hmm. Baby is able to hold. Even to hold and to pause is a whole dimension on its own. Because you tell the brain, work now wait now go back now i'm sweating mm -hmm. i'm getting better now oh i've actually over i've eaten and i'm satisfied now i have to wee wee now i have to poo poo now i have to make gestures for my mom to see i'm really enjoying mm. so whilst baby is suckling at the same time baby is giggling for you to know that yeah. he or she is actually enjoying what he or she is being fed with and that ability for the baby to do I'm telling you, how many adults are enjoying their meal and they are smiling? <laughs> it's only few that they will praise their food and say, this, <laughs> so, well, food, this is great. Yes, this uh, is great. I laugh so and take another blue. So if the baby cannot talk yeah. and is able to show their emotions, yeah. that should tell you when that child grows, 
to be very expressive. A super, super, super intelligent baby. All right. Because the baby is able to show his own emotions. They're able to feel it as a mother. Even the fathers even feel it. Mm. There are sometimes you carry your baby say, Charlie, the way he's crying, yeah, this baby needs food. Oh. Yes, Please okay. come for him and sort him out. And, and sort him out yeah. Or sort her yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your final word to uh, mothers and, and even couples, fathers, families about breastfeeding, the positions and attachments? Breastfeeding is enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Breast milk is sweet. Breast milk is the only food for the baby for the first six months. Irrespective of the number of babies you've delivered, mm -hmm. we are saying that you can breastfeed for the first six months. Mm -hmm. We are also calling on all the stakeholders. Mm -hmm. We are pleading with them. All women in Ghana are saying that they really want to enjoy their six months maternity leave. Mm -hmm. They want to have ample time with their babies so that when after six months they are introducing their babies to semi solid foods, it should be easy. They should be there to do that, mm -hmm. not a caretaker or a nanny or a caregiver. And the fathers also are really enjoying. Aside we they're giving us the six months. If their paternity leave, which is one month, can be extended to maybe... One and a half or two months. Mm. The father will also get that same bonding that the mother is also enjoying. We'll be glad if this bill can be passed as soon as possible. We'll be very, very happy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you. Much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you much. so much. Ah, she's the vice chairperson of the Ghana Registered Midwife Association, Greater Accra Region, Region Senior Midwifery Officer at Tema Health Center, Ruby Naago and Satego. I'm going to give you calf. Okay. And then I'll hold vow okay. and sing that Nufusio song for me again. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Can we? Let's go. Nufusio. Breast milk. It's good for us. Nufusio. Breast milk. It's good for us. It's good for our children. Gotta give it to them. Nufusio. Breast milk. It's good for us. No funcio ma odo. Gives love. Bambo. Mm -hmm. Bambo, no, no, bambo. No funcio. <laughs> no funcio. Ay, ay, ma ham yen. Ay, sweet music. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, Thank breast you. milk is good. Yeah. For us. Yeah. And we take a little video right now. Mm -hmm. And, we'll come, and we'll, we'll come back and uh, wrap this up. Thank you so much. You're watching GTV Breakfast. Check this out. Mm. It's not for the daddy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's for the baby. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're watching GTV Breakfast. Two minutes to seven o'clock. We will return with Breakfast Sports with Maltiti. And I don't see travels at 10. We have something there for you. We've got headlines. We've got a conversation on indiscipline in senior high schools. How do we deal with it? Shout outs to all the BEC candidates day two. They are about to go and write their exams. We're wishing them all the very best. And then we'll have a conversation with Kwamina MP, who's a rapper and uh, just an all great, great all round entertainer. So you stick around. Don't go anywhere. Nufuzio. It's good for the baby. Okay, okay. It's good for all the right. baby. Okay, then we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. This is GTV Breakfast. <laughs>